Hello everybody, Mr. Stixman here, and welcome back to Marble World. In today's video, we're going to start off by watching some balls dive into a swimming pool. <clears throat> Cram thousands of marbles into a truck and then break it, and do some racing through a city. I cannot wait to get started guys, let's go! Okay then, so we've got this swimming pool here, complete with two water slides and a diving board as well. Let's have a few of those. We do actually have a bit of a traffic jam in the water slide, but <laughs> I think everyone's getting through just about okay. So when they get down here, there is actually, if I click here, look, there's a big funnel, right? So they all go around this, and then that's invisible, by the way, but it, it's just painted with invisible paint. And if they go left, they can actually go onto these uh, invisible escalators here and up out of the water around the diving board. So we can see a few of them <laughs> jumping off this thing. That's really good, isn't it? There's a massive queue of them lining up to go on the, uh, on the diving board here. I reckon we need to spawn in some more, so we'll just uh, click this button. There we go, once we'll, we'll go down this slide. Now these things, if you know those uh, those bowls that you go and spin around on in water parks, I believe that's what this is meant to be. So they, <laughs> they spin around on this bowl and then go down, and where do they go after that? Onto the bigger funnel underneath. And if they manage to go forwards, I guess, yeah, they go onto the escalator right here, back up to the platform. And they can go round again. We've got a bit too many. I think these people are a bit too scared to go down the slides. They're just watching. <laughs> They're just watching from the sidelines. We're on the pond in the garden right now. And it's just been sort of covered in a deck here. Um, but yeah, like you could put slides all the way over here. And lots of different kind of features. So I wonder if this is going to be updated in the future. And as always, of course, links to everything we see in today's video will be in the description below. I think we've got to just overflow it a bit, haven't we? Let's just see what happens if we spawn in loads and loads of marbles here. How many have we got? Okay, 800, 900, 1,000 marbles. Right, what's going to happen now? <laughs> They've sold quite a few tickets. They probably sold a bit too many tickets for this pool, actually. Yep, absolute chaos as expected. Let's do some on this side as well. I wonder if we can actually clog up the uh, the slide here so nobody can move inside it. <laughs> is that even possible? And by the way, if I turn names on, you can see that everybody is called Tanner. And that's because we're spawning marbles individually. So unfortunately, it only uses one name. But later on in the episode, we will actually have everyone's name. So that'll be okay. But yeah, for now, we'll just turn that off, I think. Well, there's over 5,000 marbles in this pool right now. And I think we just about overloaded it. So <laughs> let's go and have a look at the next creation and this is a loading truck so basically you're meant to fill it up all the way to the top with marbles in the back here there's a big container so if I just spawn in there we go look we've got loads of marbles up here we'll just keep spawning them in and try and load it right to the top there they go down the chute into the truck and as soon as they go down we can spawn some more and we'll keep doing that for a bit and see what happens. That's already 3,600 marbles and they're piling in at a very rapid rate, I have to say. Can we get up to 25,000? What do you think, everybody? Oh, it's already slowing down, look. <laughs> I'm getting FPS warnings. We'll try to get to about 25,000 if we can. I might have to put it into slow motion because, oh no, we're losing loads off the top here, look. Oh dear, that is not good. But what I'm most looking forward to is that I'm actually going to break this truck in a minute. So when it's really full up, I'm going to grab one of these uh, floor pieces here and actually delete it. And then everything's going to fall out the truck at the same time, apart from these ones, which have already fallen down here. The game has already put itself into slow motion uh, because, oh my goodness, look at that. <laughs> Major lag below target FPS okay I'm just wondering if it's actually possible to fill it up the whole way I mean we'll try and get to 25,000 marbles but I'm not sure if it's literally going to fill the whole thing up it's like a factory conveyor belt completely loaded to the top right now I'll just spawn in some more when I wasn't meant to though so some of them are going to fall off unfortunately there we go oh dear here are the names here are the names <laughs> okay look at that marble 9359 right there and lots of them are falling down. Marble 10,259. We are going to absolutely load up this truck. Oh no, the game's broken. We've crashed it. All right, so this time we're going to fill it up to about 10,000 marbles, which is still a lot, but I can't go much more than that because we crashed at about 15,000, unfortunately. So I don't want to risk that again. <laughs> but 10,000 should be really easy. We're already at 5,000, and uh, that is quite a lot. 8,600. 9,300 and 10,000. I'm going to do a couple more just for good luck. <laughs> we should get a couple more in there. Okay, one more then. Here they come. 
the last round down into the truck and then we're going to break it. All right, that's the last round now. So we've got over 12,000 marbles here. We'll wait till they all get in the truck and then we're going to tip them out on the floor and see what happens. All right, here we go then. This is 12,000 marbles in the truck. So now we're going to just go under here, click on the floor and delete it, okay? Three, two, one, go! Whoa! Oh, right onto the uh, onto the skateboard there. Oh my goodness me. That is like an ocean falling out of the sky. Wow. They're still going as well. <laughs> They're still falling out. It looks like the room is just flooded with water or something. Still got a few in here as well. And that is a prime example of why you need to hire a decent removal company. <laughs> All right, let's go and have a look at the next marble run. Okay, and this is a race through a city. So if we go up here underneath the rocks, here is our start line. There's the marbles already spawned in. And I'll press F3 so now we can see our names. We have 133 marbles here named after my viewers, apart from the like, subscribe, and Mr. Stixman marbles, which I just snuck in there. <laughs> if anybody else would like a marble named after them, let me know in the comments section and I'll see what I can do for you in the next video. I tried to put myself at the back of the line, actually, but because this starts in reverse, I seem to be at the front, but I'm sure everyone's going to overtake me very quickly anyway. So let's just get on with this and press play. Three, two, one, go! And the race has started. So they go into this loop straight away around the corner. Everybody gets through. Thank goodness for that. Go, go team is in first place. And Brian is just about to catch up with my marbles here, uh, along with RJ and Luca. So let's carry on. Uh, where are they going next? Around this u bed. Oh no, RJ has come off the track. RJ is now stranded on the grass as they leap up onto the building here, probably experiencing extreme levels of g-force before going through the intersection and around the roof. I think this building might be a factory actually, but you can go inside it anyway and uh, it's got glass windows and everything. Um, around the spiral, down here everyone's going really fast, most people are avoiding the holes and not falling down, but number block and the squid Charlie has fallen down onto the lower part of the track here, they're jumping over this bridge, around the corner, down the river, up the waterfall and back to the start again where the barrier is actually uh, up at the moment so we can see who kind of won that race. There we go, so we've got Jackson, UFO, Brian, Milford, Rocker, TNT Craze, uh, Gogo and Nick kind of on the front row and then we can see everyone else just behind them. We do have this smoke effect as well which looks like everything's on fire. Are these meant to be cars going like driving around the city and polluting it? You know, so that's quite interesting, isn't it? I'm wondering if the smoke is just, uh, you know, fumes from the cars. Anyway, I've just restarted the race because a few people fell off the track, so don't worry. We're going to start all over again, and hopefully uh, everyone can stay on this time. Three, two, one, go! And the race has begun. So around the loop here, around the corner, really fast. That's very quick, actually, isn't it? But nobody has fallen off so far. Uh, goodness me, that's <laughs> there's a jump down here onto a lower road. Around the corner, Milford and Roy have come off this time, unfortunately. Uh, and who is at the back? I can't even see. I think Riley was at the back of the pack there. Archie and Michael, Alexis and Jonathan are at the back right now. Uh, oh no, so Jonathan has gone to space! Come back! <laughs> Jonathan has left the world, apparently. Dorino's fallen off as well underneath the map. Everyone's jumping over the bridge really fast, and Max almost jumps out of the out of the track, but luckily stays on. We've got uh, Brian has overtaken Reaper Man, who just became stuck, but somehow got through. Charlie, oh no, Charlie and Reaper Man are stuck here, but they're going up now. They are rejoining the pack. Hopefully, they might catch up. Tanner and Nathan have got stuck. There's Roy under the road and Angela and Milford as well. Ian and Charlie are rounding up the back of the pack as we come round here. Evie, oh no, Evie's taken a, a bit of a nap under the tree here. <laughs> Will Plays has come off there. Milford's having a chill out in the garden and Cat is... I don't know where Cat's going, somewhere. <laughs> We've got a few people underneath the sofa now as well. That's a shame, isn't it? But uh, everyone's coming around here. This is quite an interesting part of the track where marbles can go across and uh, and down as well so look daniel oh daniel just got hit by reaper man i think or somebody anyway right here we go lots of marbles are coming from both directions now so in slow motion we can see what happens and nate oh nate and dylan nearly collided the squid charlie has been knocked to, uh, to take the shortcut there aiden is in danger here aiden and adam oh that was close <laughs> Sonny and Cole have collided, and Emil has luckily been uh, knocked onto that track as well. Oh no, Toxic Game and Rebecca have also gone to space with Jonathan. <laughs> Chicken and Number Block have got through safely, but they are taking the longer route here as Tommy H and Yusuf come around with, with uh, Lego by Leo as well. And subscribe! 
Let's do double speed and see what that looks like. I've never done that before, actually. Here we go. Absolutely ridiculous. It's a bit like your average Monday morning commute, isn't it? Okay, then let's restart the race one more time. F1, delete, F1, F. There we go. And it's begun. Everybody is on the spiral right now. I'm just going to spawn in loads of marbles and see if we can fill the whole track up. Wow, the amount of smoke we've got here on these roads is unbelievable, isn't it? Just spawned in a whole bunch more as well. Check out this loop here. That's awesome, isn't it? I'm going to keep spawning in more. Whoa, that's got to be thousands of marbles by now. This is not very sensible. Oh no, they're all getting jammed up. <laughs> they're all getting jammed up on the loop here. Whoops, I shouldn't have done that. Oh my goodness. Now that is a proper traffic jam, isn't it? That is a real traffic jam for sure. This is interesting. Back at the crossroads here. And oh no, someone else has gone. Who was that? This must be the world's most dangerous intersection. <laughs> it must be. Whoa, I'm getting dizzy looking at this. I'm getting really dizzy right now. From this angle, look how many different roads there are. And just everybody is everywhere on this track right now. I've got an idea. Let's follow one of them round on a camera for the marble and just see what happens. So this is Patrick. Okay, we'll follow Patrick then. Camera mode, play, and we'll just follow <laughs> We'll follow Patrick round uh, through the loop here. Okay, round the corner. And hopefully we don't get stuck anywhere. There's so much smoke, we can't even see the marble we're following. <laughs> okay, round the corner. I think Patrick's the orange one, isn't it? I can't remember now. Oh, we got knocked into the shortcut, so... That's quite handy. We're now going around the spiral and the camera is now inside the track. So we're kind of seeing two different roads at the same time, but we'll be out soon, I'm sure. We're speeding up here and here's the bridge for the jump. Patrick gets over the holes and over the bridge into the river. And this is going to be back to the start again if we can get back up here. Oh, fantastic. Good job. Good job, Patrick. Oh no, there's a whole group of marbles down here. I'm still in camera mode with Patrick's marble and look, everyone else is here as well. So at this point, I reckon this city is the most chaotic city that's ever existed. <laughs> Judging by the roads anyway. Anyway guys, that's all we've got time for in this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you've enjoyed the video. I really, really appreciate it. Links to everything you've seen in today's video will be in the description below. And if you'd like me to name a marble after you in future videos, let me know in the comments down below and I'll see what I can do for you. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you very soon. Bye for now.